Blanks. Black jumps. White come out here. After this move, black cannot get out. If black bouch, white will honey. If black nobi, white honey. Black honey. White cuts. If black counter attacks, white pushes. Black pushes, white cuts, and black grabs. Black liberties is not enough. Black gives back an excellent move. Black grabs here. If white connects, black will bridge enter, and this move is center. For white has weakness here, black will waste cut. White had to reinforce. After this exchanges, now black could force play play here, counter attack. If things go like this, you can see this group has much more liberties and uh, it can make life at the center. So this move seems very far from here, but it's closely related to the fight here. White must sell black in. If black could get out of here, white's intention of obtaining influence will fail completely. So white ignores its weakness and its sense. Doesn't allow black bridge under. Very strong. But this move paid a tremendous price. Black wrist cut. For this situation, white can cut. If white cuts, black cuts. White knobby, black knobby. These five stones will die. This is the only move. Black legs. At this time, white could make life in this corner. But black will not be. White not be. Black jumps. White's corner would be very small, and white had to live in Gote. At this moment, Santa is very important. If black gets Santa, black will reduce white influence easily. In theory, if you are playing a big moyo, you shouldn't invade the corner too early. So, white bends and sacrifice the corner. White invests all his stones to obtain influence. Thus, white first abandoned this corner, then sacrificed the right side, then sacrificed the right upper corner. Black this corner has about 50 moko, and black has a lot of moko in this area. But white has almost no territory. All what white has is the wall. The wall is quite considerable. If the situation was like this, white could have a big moyo. But in actual game, here is a black stone.
it seems that with influence, it's hard to play a role. I think in this situation, most of the players would like to choose black to play. Why the strong players are strong? Because they are very good at exert influence. Huang Longshi is absolutely one of the greatest players who is good at exert influence. Huang Longshi thought his situation was not bad. If white can carry here, white will have a moyo here. But if black mm, take center to play here, very good point. Next, here and here are Mia. Black is a living group. If the influence can't be used in combat, it would be useless. In actual game, white Okima here. Black here. White has a big point here. Black can push and cut. So white reinforces it here. It's home time for black to jump here. But then white will cut here. With the influence here, white will have a lot of territory in the center. So black tenuki and uh, place here to reduce white's moyo. It's the right direction. If let me play, I would play here. It's solid and safe. This shape leaves an invisible point to white. The players of classical Chinese school focus on strong moves with great passion. So Jiang Tianyuan plays here. White to play here is common sense. This point would be a good point in most cases. But at this time, black will jump here. It's an excellent good point. This stone reinforces this group, reduces this moyo, and restricted this influence at the same time. So white place here goes on with make influence. Black honey, white knobby, black knobby, white knobby, black pushes, white honey, black attached underneath to make life. If white honey here, black cuts. Black could contact it. White just knobby. Black knobby. White knobby. After this fight, Black's corner had been destroyed, and there were still some techniques inside. But in any case, Black had made their life in center. Then black plays here. Extremely big point. Needless to say. If black gets a got here, let white place in this area. White shape would be perfect, and white would have a large territory in the center. In this situation, you can say black had three pieces of territory, the right upper corner, the right side, and the lower side. And all of the three stones are on the right places. They reduce the white moyo naturally. The big problem for Hua Longshi is that how to get the most out of influence. First, white sacrifices stones to solidify itself. This is a good move. This is test G. White descents. Black here. White artery. Black counter artery. White capture. 